Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're going to have a look at a new quick way of assigning materials in Blender. Before we begin, let's quickly recap how we can assign materials in Blender. So I'm going to come over to Viewport Shading and I'm going to press T to open up my Asset Browser and I've got some materials all set up here. So we can drag something in, let's say this blue material, from our Asset Browser onto our object. The other thing we could do is we could select any other objects, come down to our materials and any materials we've already used will be there so I could assign that that way. Finally, if let's just bring in something else, we select a number of other objects, I can come to one of the ones that already have a material assigned, press Ctrl and L and then we can link the materials and then they apply there. So there's nothing hugely wrong with any of these, they all work out fine. I just find them a little bit tedious, I generally work by having my modifier menu open and if you've got a lot of objects in a scene, dragging them in one by one from your asset browser is a bit tedious. Finally using the Ctrl and L option, whatever you do requires you to take your hand off from where it normally is, either your hand off of the mouse to use Ctrl and L, or moving your hand from the left hand side of the keyboard to press Ctrl and L there. It all hinders your workflow just a little bit. And it's nothing awful, but if there's a more efficient way, let's use it. And thankfully the Machine Tools recent update has a very nice option for this. So edit preferences and we're just going to find machine tools. There's a link in the description if you don't have machine tools. It has so many tools available to it, it's brilliant. And all I'm going to do is come to the general and you can see that we've got this material picker option. Now once you select this, I'll just turn it off and on, you get this option box here. And you can either have this assigned to the right hand mouse button or you can just have it at the top of your context menu. Now the other thing you can do if you go to key maps and we go all the way to the bottom, that material picker, we can assign something there. So for example, I can click this on, and instead of having the right mouse, because I use the right mouse for the context menu, I'm going to click this, and we'll have Alt and right mouse, and that will give us an option of doing it that way. So we have multiple ways of activating this. Let's save our preferences and come back. Now the first thing we've got here is this picker icon in the top. So what this means is if I click on an object and click that picker icon, I can click on another object and it will automatically assign that material to it. Or alternatively, Alt and right mouse button, go over a material and it will assign. And that's because I set that up on the shortcut, so you can assign that to whatever you want. But importantly for me, this means my hands stay where I normally keep them. What's cool about this, I can select multiple objects and Alt and right click, and then we can select that really quickly. Making this really efficient, you can also Alt right click and holding down the right click just press X and it will get rid of any materials that you've got assigned. Finally if you need it you can also right click and pick material picker there and then click. Now what I really like about this is that it also works very well with your asset browser. Say we were going to bring in a material from our asset browser we have to bring them in one at a time and each time we just have to drag and drop it in. Not the worst thing in the world. But what we can also do is if you click on your material in your asset browser, you can hold Alt and right click and you'll notice it automatically recognise that we're trying to put things in from the asset browser. And then you can just click on as many things as you want, change it, Alt and right click, and then you're using the left click to click down each time as you hold Alt and right. So this makes this really quick and easy to do. And in a world where you might have lots of different objects that you want to be changing the materials of, being able to do this very quickly is absolutely brilliant. It just makes life so much faster. And if you want to assign materials to multiple objects from your asset browser, you just select all of them. Notice that we've got the one we want selected in the asset browser. Alt and right click. Keep holding the right click down, press shift, control, and then left click, and it will sign them all in one go. It really does make this a very, very fast process. So if we just have a quick look at how efficient this is, I've just really quickly thrown together this scanner, and if I just drag out, we can go to our materials, and then we can start with, what do I want the outside? Let's just have that as a black map. Let's come to our viewport shader, so we'll go map black, alt and click, and then we can have that on there to be slightly different. We want a shiny black on this sort of surround for our monitor. Let's come to glass and we want a glass, let's go with the basic glass there, or we could have one of the other glasses, but it just makes it really quick to play around and try different things. That looks quite good. Maybe that. And then we can just go to our plastic and rubber and start assigning some different things there. So let's go that for the text. And then we'll have some different colors on the buttons there. Let's have, a, no, let's actually have a red there. 
or we could do a green for that one. And then again, if I want to do multiples of these, I can just assign it from here. It just makes everything so much faster to do. And once again, if I suddenly decide that I don't like all of these, I don't have to come to my material panel and start getting rid of all these materials. I can just select everything that I don't want, Alt, right click, and then X, and we get rid of all of those materials. It just makes life really, really quick and easy to use. In fact, let's have some emissions on here. So, so we'll do that, that. Actually, let's do that, that would look better, and then something like that. So yeah, just a really, really quick way of being able to assign things, and it just makes picking materials so much quicker and easier. So nothing groundbreaking, but I think this is a really nice addition to the already expansive tool set that is Machine Tools. If you found that useful, please do hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you want to support the channel any further, getting these videos a week ahead of time and ad free, there's a link to the Patreon page in the description. I've also put in the description a link to all of the materials that I've been using for this. They're all free, they come from a set of procedural materials from Cube Brush and another set of materials from Hey Pictures. Again, those links are in the description. Have a great day, guys.